All right, folks, I'm at Deer Creek Canyon Park, Regional Park, and I am going to do a trail up to Bill Couch Mountain. As you saw with the drive up, there's a lot of people here, so um, we'll see if this turns into a video or not. Uh, if there's too many people around, I'm not, I don't really like filming, so uh, I guess if you're hearing this, I was able to make a video. So I don't know why I'm talking on and on about this. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera away for a little bit until I get out of the biggest pack of people and then maybe start filming. These are wild hops. Cascade, I would say. How cool is that? Wild hops on a hiking trail. There's tons of them. Some wild raspberries too. I'm not gonna eat these ones right along the trail because Oftentimes, that's where dogs lift their legs. All right, finally lost most people about two miles into the trail. There's a loop that most people take. Still hear people, there's still trail runners, but might be able to do a little video here. Some people complain about the green tunnel effect, meaning you're just surrounded by forest when you hike without views. Uh, I don't mind it at all. Number one, it keeps you cool on a hot day. And it just feels more like hiking. Now I love a good alpine hike as well. Where you get those views, but if I had to choose, it would be forest, forested hikes. Are those rose hips? That's what I think they are. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'll look it up when I get home. That peak right there, that's Bill Couch Mountain, I believe. That's where I'm headed. Let's go. So here we are at the top of Bill Couch Mountain. Deer Creek Valley Park, Plymouth Creek Trail to Red Mesa Trail to Eagle's Nest Trail or something like that. I'll uh, tell you at the end. A little valley here and then views of the plains, Denver. Uh, still pretty hazy. I don't know if you can see Denver out there, but uh, I'll put on the telephoto and get you some views and uh, name a few places. So it's nice and cool out, out, up here. Breeze blowing, but it's 80, topping out at 90 degrees today. So I won't stay up here too long. There's downtown Denver. You can see it covered in haze from the fires, unfortunately. Zoom out here, I believe that's Cherry Creek State Park. I live 
right around here somewhere. <laughs> so that's Cherry Creek Lake. This uh, big thing here, it's kind of ridge. It's called the Hogback. You see Chatfield State Park, Chatfield Lake, right behind it. Neighborhood down here amongst these red rocks. Kind of pretty. All right, here we are at the true peak. So let's get a full 360. without falling as I stand on this dangling rock. All right, I'm gonna cruise down this trail before my pasty legs get fried. And I'm gonna try and find those hops on the way back down and maybe make a hop tea when I get home. Maybe even put one in a fresh beer, which I deserve. Only one other couple on this part of the trail. So, yeah, this uh, park, Deer Creek Valley Park, <laughs> is, one, is probably the closest um, set of mountain trails to my home. It's about 25 minutes away. So, been here a number of times. This is the first time I've made a video, other than I think I made a video with Loki on this trail one time. So, a little too hot for the dog, still. Like I said, it's gonna get up to 90 today. Uh, so, but you know, fall's coming soon and we'll be out snowshoeing, hiking, cooking in no time. All right, I'll probably just put the camera away, cruise down the trail here. It's all downhill at this point. All right, folks, back in the Jeep. That was a great hike, cranking up the AC. Deer Creek Canyon Park. Uh, trail. Oh, let me show you the uh, loop that, or the uh, route that I took. About six miles. Started here at the trailhead, up Plymouth Creek Trail, all the way up here to what is that? Red Mesa Loop, to Golden Eagle, to Bill Couch Mountain, and then all the way back down. About 1,300 almost 1400 feet of altitude 6.2 miles there's the trail tracker on all trails great hike highly recommend you get some a taste of the uh kind of desert open area here on the front of the mountain and the open space here and then through the uh canyon and valley here you get a lot of more wet area and even wild hops growing Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one with Loki.